we'll be spending tonight on the edge of one of Norway's most well-known mountains called Sturehesten. As soon as I saw this place on Airbnb, I knew that we had to have it on our channel. And the view looks absolutely incredible and I think it's going to be one of the best views we've ever had from a hotel room. It's extremely icy on the roads up to the parking lot, which is right next to the accommodation, which is fantastic. But uh, we're going to have to get taken up by a tractor that has snow chains on it, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Yeah. And here is the tractor! <laughs> it's icy. Yeah, the car wouldn't make it up this. No, for sure. Just behind us there is where the normal car park is if you're coming here. And uh, then you just have a three minute walk, which is nice and close. He's leading the way and showing us there. There it is. Beautiful little bird boxes where we're going to be spending the night tonight. Now, there's two models of bird boxes. There's the Mini and the Medi. This is the Mini, so it is a little bit smaller than the other one. But guys, it has everything that you need when you come here. So right here, we've got a big, lovely, comfortable bed. It looks so nice and warm. There's plenty of blankets. We've already checked. There's two underneath. There's another two here in case you want to rug up on this seat. Now, as we are halfway up a mountain with an incredible view over the fjords, there isn't any electricity here. So we do have a heater here, but it is run by petrol. Now there's a petrol generator outside, which we will show you shortly, and it only runs the heater. So all the lighting and there's a charger cord next to the bed where you can charge a few phones. That is all run off the solar panels that are on the roof. Beneath the bed, there is a whole area where we've already put our camera bags and our clothing underneath here. We've got lots of little extra goodies here. We've got some snacks, so cookies, chocolates, lollies, some sausages and some bacon, some nuts, some crackers. Now there is a price list here. These do not come included, but it is nice to know that should we need the food because we are kind of in the middle of nowhere. If we forgot anything, there is some things here so we don't starve. Some plates, some bowls, some cutlery, glasses, wine glasses, a little cooking stove with a kettle so we can make our coffee in the morning and it's got a, a pot so we can cook up some hot dogs and uh, I think we'll be having hot dogs and noodles tonight, is that right? Mm -hmm. When you come to a bird box like this, the main things that you're coming for are the nature. That is what most people will come here for. Norwegians love to go hiking, they love to go skiing. There are apparently four really good hiking trails around here. I'm sure there's even more, but there's four that we've heard of. And here is where we have our little dining table. Now it came with a few inclusions when you come in, which is nice and welcoming. So you've got some white chocolate, some coffee, some uh, Toblerone chocolates in case you've got a sweet tooth, bag of salted chips, some coffee mugs, some glasses, and a bottle of water. This is probably one of the best views I have ever had from a hotel room. You've got the forest directly in front, followed by the fjord, which is half frozen over at the moment. Apparently they are a lot busier here in summer than they are in winter, but it's, it is still absolutely just gorgeous here in winter. Okay, so here is the petrol generator you just put your petrol in here it's very easy to operate there's an on and off switch on the side and a choke here you just turn the choke put it on on give it a little And there it is. And here is the bathroom. You can see it's really not far from where we're sleeping tonight. Still probably don't want to come out in the middle of the night though. There's no flush needed. It just goes straight down. And you've got some water and some soap here so that you can stay nice and clean afterwards. I have to say, I think it's one of the best views that you could get while sitting on a toilet because this is the view. And if you like to poop with the door open, you get double the view. Beautiful. I make a fire! It's not super hot, it's like lukewarm. 
Camp stuff. <laughs> Camp in life, baby. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep? I slept really well. This bed is really comfortable. And it's so nice and warm under here. And I love when you wake up and you can hear the rain drizzle. Mm. So, so relaxing. Very relaxing. Yeah, no better place to be than a bird box when it's raining. Mm. Well, you want some coffee? I do. Well, I said really well. The generator ran out at about 3 a.m. We did turn off the heater though at about midnight because it was very hot in here. And the temperature seemed to cool down when we woke up around 8 a.m. Mm. It was nice and warm under the doona, but outside of the doona, it was a little bit cold. It's chilly, but I think that's part of the experience too, because you wake up and your nose is a little bit cold, but you're so nice and warm mm. underneath the, the doona, so. Definitely didn't want to get up this morning, but we did. <laughs> and Josie, do you recommend that people bring anything in particular if they're coming to stay here? I would probably bring things that are easy to cook because you only have this little gas burner. For people who are out hiking a lot, there's a lot of these little bags that you just add water and then there's a meal. You can also bring like two minute noodles like we did, hot dogs, that was fine to eat them boiled, sandwiches, of course. A beautiful stay, an absolutely stunning view. We wish the weather was better. Mm. We uh, we missed out on doing a few things like a, a hike or, or even using our drone, but you know, you, you can't control the weather. And if you're gonna have bad weather, I think that this is an amazing place to be and experience this weather. Yeah, because you can still lie in here and appreciate the Norwegian nature without having to step out into it. You're sitting here with coffee and just look out over this view. It is just absolutely beautiful.